Hey, yo, warning. We about to talk about some real stuff right now. So hide your kids, because viewer discretion is advised. Celebrating the fact that, yo, I went three days without masturbating. That's good. That's good. Be proud of yourself. That's good. Come on. Stop beating yourself up. That's good. Three days. That's good. But ar raqib is fully aware that you're trying your hardest. And there's a reward for that. You understand? So don't, don't lose hope within yourself. If you are able to overcome anything, it's because of Allah's mercy. It's not because you're some strong, willpowered, no fap type of dude or sister. No. So you can get over this masturbation addiction. And guess what? Once you do get over it, you're going to feel so empowered. Then you can ask yourself, what else can I get over? What else can I do? Way of Life SQ. Keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. <sighs> Today's video is going to be a tough one. How I personally overcame my masturbation addiction. If you're someone who is addicted to masturbating or just can't help yourself, this video is going to help you out. And just know, I know how it feels. I know how it feels to finish the act and just feel like total crap. Feel like, ugh, like the scum of the earth. You feel like, ugh. Like you just keep succumbing to your same desire over and over again. I know how that feels. I know you finish and you're just like oh, disappointed in yourself. You hate yourself to some degree. You think that Allah hates you. You think that Allah has lost all, all, all hope in you because you keep repenting to Allah for the same thing, but you keep making the same mistake again and again and you just feel like crap. I know how that feels. But I also want to let you know that there is a way to get out of it. I'm going to share with how I got out of this myself. But before I do so, just a quick reminder that Ramadan is less than two months away. And today's Asma al Husna is a beautiful name of Allah that's going to help you with those who are struggling with masturbation addiction. And that name is Ar Raqib. Ar Raqib. Now, some of you might interpret that me to be the watchful. But that's not what Ar-Raqib is. Ar-Raqib is never absent from watching you. He is always watching you. That is what's supposed to instill taqwa in our hearts. Ar-Raqib, right? He understands the intention, the unspoken intention in your heart. And we're going to talk about a little bit more about that today and how we could overcome this, uh, this masturbation addiction and, and use these beautiful names of Allah to help us as well. So let's get into this video. Some of you are like, oh, but, but SQ, uh, Dr. Zakir Naik said that masturbation is halal. I don't care what Dr. Zakir Naik has said. I'm not telling you about something that's halal or haram. I'm talking to you about your own self-worth, your own self-confidence. How many times do you finish? Once you finish, you feel like crap. Yeah, it feels good in the moment, but then the lingering effects of it is just you feel less. You feel like a simp. You feel like, oh, so basic and oh, God, keep making the same thing. You feel low. You feel down. You feel yucky. Who the hell feels proud after that? No one. And the fact that you do feel low and you feel like Allah is disappointed in me. Allah, oh Allah, again, I promise you Allah I won't. That's a sign of Iman. That's a sign that there's Iman in your heart. And this Iman is what's going to help us take us into Jannah. And it's going to help us overcome this. So I'm going to give you uh, three tips that's helped me overcome. Practical tips, not referring you to a website or a service plan to help you get out of it. Those, those are also great solutions. But I want to give you out there a quick way to help you get out of this and what I personally use to help me get out of my own masturbation addictions as well too. Okay. For some of you, it's gotten to the point you got to know where you are, right? For some of you, it's multiple times within the day. For some of you, it's just uh, sometimes within the week. And for sometimes, uh, for you, it's, it's either more or less, but there's a problem. There's a problem that when you are feeling a little bored, when you are feeling a little bit low, a little anxious, you turn to what gives you comfort. You see, as human beings, the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us is that we avoid pain and we move towards pleasure. Okay, so what gives us pleasure is what we move towards. And this is something that gives a lot of us a lot of pleasure. Now, some of you have this misconception that it's only, oh, brothers, no, sisters too, brothers and sisters, people, human beings, the son of Adam is struggling with this. You understand? The son of Adam is struggling with this. And when you finish, you know how you feel. But I want to help you get out of that feeling right now, okay? So, I'm going to tell you three things that can help you, but in order of least importance to the highest importance. Okay, so I'm going to work backwards. Okay. The first tip that I'm going to give you right now to help you curb this appetite of masturbation is fasting. 
The Messenger وسلم, gave a narration of how, you know, one of the best ways to, uh, to, to suppress, to curb this appetite of sexual desire is getting married and or fasting. Okay, for some of you, marriage is not an option right now. And just know that if you take these ugly, dirty uh, habits into marriage, just because you're married doesn't mean you stop masturbating. Just just throwing that out there because some of you simps out there think that, you know, that's just the key, it's the solution. No, if you have certain bad habits, it's going to carry into the marriage, whether that be pornography, masturbation, whatever it might be, it's going to carry into your marriage. Just keep that in mind. What fasting does, it curbs your appetite, meaning it drains you a little bit because you're physically exhausted yourself a little bit right you're, you're 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 not eating you're not drinking and in return for that space of time you're also not masturbating so that's a win in itself right there now after your fast is over you literally have something to look forward to something to live up to okay if you're about to masturbate after your fasting you could literally weigh a deed out that listen if I if I just you know go and masturbate right now like what was the point of this fast and now you have something tangible that you can weigh it against and be like you know what it's not worth it it's not worth my fast to be given and to be lost and da 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 like you should be feeling spiritually powerful after a fast while masturbating makes you feel spiritually lowered Okay, so move towards that which gives you a reward and it makes you feel empowered. Masturbate, you're not going to want to do it because you don't want to lose the deeds. Now, SQ, what am I fasting on? The Sunday days, the white days? Fast as much as you need, friends. As much as you need. If you need to fast every single day to curb the appetite because a raqib is aware of your intention and why you're doing it, that's going to help you out. Okay? That's going to help you out. That's, that's some advice right there. Here's another thing that helped me, um, uh, you know, uh, overcome this masturbation addiction. Celebrate and anticipate. Here's what I mean. Some of you go two, three days without masturbating and then you fall, you know, back to your habit because it's a habit and you hate yourself. You're like, oh, the most I've done is three days. The most I can do is five days. And blah, 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 blah. I just go back to it again. Hang on a second. Can we just celebrate the three or four or five or even one or two days of the fact that you had self, some, some self-control? Can we celebrate the self-control? Can we, can we honor you a little bit more and be like, hey, hey, I'm proud of... Give yourself a, a pat on the shoulder a little bit. You know, be proud of yourself a little bit. Like, hey, you know, I, I, I held out for a little bit. Now challenge yourself. Okay. Okay, I didn't do it for two days. Can I push it to three next time? Okay, boom, three days. Okay, you couldn't handle, can I push it to four next time? And you keep building your tolerance and your resistance. Eventually, you're also killing and rewiring your brain to make new habits. So what you're doing is you are celebrating the fact that, yo, I went three days without masturbating. That's good. That's good. Be proud of yourself. That's good. Come on. Stop beating yourself up. That's good. Three days, that's good. Three days without doing such a thing, good, good for you. But now you have to anticipate. You see, within those three days that you're about to, you're not masturbating, there's, there's certain rituals that are reminding you to do so. There's certain triggers that you have, and that could be a separate video about triggers for masturbating, right? Um, and obviously, tell me in the comment section below if you're even knowing that, but I'll make it anyways. I don't really care, right? So there's certain triggers that remind you to masturbate okay you have to anticipate the fact that it's been two three days without masturbating that you're going to want to do it and now it's up to you to figure out what makes you want to do it right what is it right is it watching something that you shouldn't be and that's a different topic is it listening to something that reminds you of that is it being bored is it just being lonely is it being sad is it just a, a escapism mechanism that you're using so that you can feel better about yourself but then shaitan makes you feel worse about yourself right it's a funny dynamic shaitan uh, you know attracts you to do this and then as soon as you're done with it he bounces right because that's that's what he does okay but a raqib is fully aware that you're trying your hardest and there's a reward for that you understand so don't don't lose hope within yourself okay and so celebrate the time that you haven't and anticipate that you're itching to do so and anticipate that it's going to get tougher. But if you're able to overcome that, that's where the true muscle and strength lies. Okay.
And here's the final thing, which is the most important. And that is making dua to Allah to help you get over this addiction. Whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, there's none who can misguide. Whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows to be led astray, there's none who can guide. So please remember something, that if you are able to overcome anything, it's because of Allah's mercy. It's not because you're some strong, willpower, no fat type of dude or sister. No, it's because of Allah's mercy who allows you to be successful and overcome certain things. So don't think so highly of yourself. Remember that if you're struggling, it's being allowed by Allah. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is allowing you to struggle or to go through this, it means that you can handle this because Allah wouldn't be testing you with something that's beyond your capacity. So you can get over this masturbation addiction. And guess what? Once you do get over it, you're going to feel so empowered. Then you can ask yourself, what else can I get over? What else can I do? Okay? So just remember something, make dua to Allah, asking Allah to help you and make it easy for you because you can. And notice, I didn't say anything about like salah and this and that. Sure, because that, that, that could be a different video. But I'm just talking about general tips to help you, help you stop and overcome your masturbation addiction as I overcame my addiction myself. I pray that this video helped you out and I hope that it gave you some hope that you're not a lost cause, you're not finished, you're not done, you're not like Allah hates you. No, Allah has allowed you by His knowledge and permission to go through this. That means that He knows your character, He knows your forbearance, He knows how much you can handle. This is something that you can handle and this is something that you can get over. And how do we apply the name of Ar-Raqib? is by being us, ourselves, watchful, being reflective, being vigilant about our own habits. And the fact that you even watched this video and you cared to stop shows that you're already practicing these habits. And may Allah increase you. May Allah bless you. May Allah, you know, exalt us and unite us in paradise together and forgive us for the mistakes that we make consistently over and over and over again because his name is also Al-Ghafar. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.